Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter with Storyteller. Today, we're diving into chapter two of our tale, where the past and present collide in a library filled with secrets. So, buckle up as we explore the mysteries that await our young heroes. Let's get started. As Eleanor Thorne stepped into the library, the flickering gas lamps cast a warm glow over the rows of dusty tomes. The intricate woodwork of the shelves seemed to breathe with the weight of history. The library was a sanctuary of shadows and whispers, a place where the past lingered like the scent of old parchment. Mr. Jasper Pritchard, the town's eccentric historian, stood at the center of the room. His wild mane of white hair was haloed by the soft light as he adjusted his round spectacles, peering at Eleanor and her friends with a mixture of curiosity and concern. You must understand, children, the cornucopia is not merely an artifact. It is a mirror reflecting our deepest fears and regrets. Mr. Pritchard began, his voice a gravelly whisper that echoed against the walls. Eleanor felt a shiver run down her spine the weight of his words settling heavily in the air. Finn, Eleanor's best friend, stood beside her. His brow furrowed in concentration as he fiddled with a small steam-powered device. This gadget of his own invention whirred softly in response to his touch. Clara Pritchard, Mr. Pritchard's spirited granddaughter, sat cross-legged on the floor. Her sketchbook was open, capturing the moment with quick strokes of her pencil. Her expressive hazel eyes darted between the pages and the faces of her friends, absorbing the gravity of their task. As Eleanor listened, she felt a surge of confidence swell within her. She was no longer just a curious girl but a leader, guiding her friends through the labyrinth of their town's dark history. The trio pored over the old archives, their fingers brushing against the brittle pages of forgotten stories. Each tale they uncovered revealed the struggles of past townsfolk who had faced their own demons. Their regrets were woven into the very fabric of Salem. The cornucopia's curse, they learned, was not an isolated incident but a collective memory, a tapestry of sorrow that bound the community together. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, casting long shadows across the library floor, Eleanor felt a strange sensation wash over her. Whispers danced at the edges of her consciousness, fleeting glimpses of visions that hinted at the specter of regrets impending arrival. The air grew thick with anticipation, and Eleanor exchanged a glance with Finn, who nodded, his eyes alight with determination. 